Hey folks, this is Bill with Dine Drink Travel. It is March of 2023 and I've just checked into the El Cortez Hotel. Unfortunately, my room wasn't ready on check-in. So what I'm going to do real quick is give you a quick tour of what it was like when I checked in and hopefully give you a better tour later on. So this is in the original 47 area and it is a king suite. Trash not taken out. There's some weird red stuff, which I'm pretty sure is soap. I'm going to choose to believe that because that makes me better or makes me feel better. The bed's not made, so it is a great room. And I will come back in just a little while and give you a full tour of it. But yeah, they let me into the room before it was ready. I called down to the housekeeping in the front desk. That took a while, so not a great start to the trip, but let's see where it goes in just a few minutes. Hey, this is Bill. It is the next day, and I'm still in room 3301 in the original 47 at El Cortez. This is a king suite, and I think the way I think about this is this is a, an amazing room. It's usually at a really good price. It's just that the service experience has been so weird. So let's start by talking about the room, and then I'll get back to talking about the service experience at the end. So... Immediately to my right is entering, on entering is the bathroom, and it's a little small, but it's fine. One of the things I particularly like about the bathroom is that the shower is easy to operate and has really great water pressure. So it comes on immediately. I had great water pressure. It was easy to control the temperature, and I like that. Like a lot of times, the showers are hard to fiddle with, or they got weak water pressure. That didn't happen here. Sink, custom amenities. The towels were fine. So the bathroom is small, but it's perfectly functional. One of the great things about this suite is it's got more closet space than any other hotel suite I think I've been in. Certainly came with some hangers, came with an extra set of towels and all of that. Then getting into the main area, one of the things that you need to know is that there are a couple of different styles of this suite that are slightly different. Let me show you something on the door real quick. So up here on the third floor of the original 47 rooms, there's only the four rooms, right? Like, it looks to me like this is where all of the suites are. It's a little bit different from one to one, but in this one, you come in, there is a huge TV. Um, I was having kind of a rough morning. I may have over Vegas last night. I came out, comfortable place to sit and watch TV. I've got several buddies on this trip, and if we wanted, there'd be plenty of places for us to sit. Now, that couch doesn't pull out, but still, lots of comfortable places to sit if you're watching TV, if you're going to have friends over for a drink or anything like that. The bed last night was super comfortable. It was easy to get to all the light switches. There aren't a whole lot of power plugs, but there are plenty to do what I need. There's one right there, which is where I've been charging my phone. The light to the room is pleasant during the day, but one of the things that I really appreciate about this room is that the curtains manual close and they actually blocked out light like i didn't wake up this morning until i was done sleeping now i did a review last year and i'll try to provide a link to it but i did a review last year from on a, a corner room up there on the eighth floor that room was really really loud from street noise this room is dead quiet my buddy john is on the second floor here of the original 47 rooms he's got a little bit of casino noise um that i don't have here but said it was quiet too. My brother-in-law is also staying in the pavilion rooms. Those are a little bit more questionable. We'll talk about those in other videos, but this room, super quiet. Um, maybe one of the best deals in Vegas. Coming around, in some of these suites, there is a little bar area right here, which there wasn't here, and there was this kind of weird office space. I'll be honest, it worked, right? Like I needed to do some work today on my day job. I was able to log in, the Wi-Fi is fine. Um, the power cord situation in here is a little bit weird, so the coffee maker, I had to string up over to there, but more to the point, they had free coffee, um, and that can absolutely save your life here in Vegas in the morning. Then you've got another closet, which frankly, I haven't wound up needing to use. You could also use this office space as a make-ready area, because they've got a mirror, They've got a cart there, which you could use, I suppose, as your rolling bar stock if you wanted to. So the room itself, I've been thrilled with. I didn't even pay a huge amount for it. It's been, it's been a great, great place to stay. But let's go back to the service experience that I was talking about right at the start of this video. Um, so when I checked in yesterday, my room wasn't ready, and it took a couple hours after that, even after posted check-in time, before it was. And then when I came back later on, 
my key quit working and when I went down to the desk after yet another long wait there, it's because it turns out they checked me into the wrong room. I'm in 3301. They meant to check me in 3302. So instead of calling me, they just deactivated my key. We eventually got that sorted out. I'm still in the same room that I originally checked into. There have been a couple other kind of, you know, small inconveniences like that. Um, and a similar thing had happened when I checked into my tower room last year. The room wasn't ready when I checked in. So would I say at the El Cortez again? Yeah, I definitely would. The rooms here are actually really nice. The rooms are an amazingly good value. It's a convenient walk to Container Park. It's convenient to the Fremont Street experience. I love the restaurants in this area. The rooms themselves are nice. Also, it's probably the best gambling odds in Vegas. And overall, one of the places I prefer to gamble. Seagulls is, Seagulls 1941, the cafe, has got my favorite breakfast in Vegas. You've just got to be prepared that there's going to be some lapses in the service experience. However, even there, they are all the way back from COVID. There's daily housekeeping. I didn't ask for it. It just showed up today. So... Yeah, I would do it again. You just got to be prepared for like frustratingly long wait times at check-in and some other stuff like that. I hope this video has been helpful to you. What we try real hard to do here at Dine Drink Vegas is bring you short and focused videos to give you the information you need to plan your next trip to Vegas. If we have been helpful, I would really appreciate your support for the channel by having you click like and subscribe. Also, we love to hear from our viewers. So leave us a comment in the comments section down below. Tell us where you like to stay in Vegas. Tell us what you think of the hotels in, on Fremont, and particularly here at the El Cortez, and ask us any questions you have. Thanks so much, and happy travels.